Hello everybody, this is Big Am checking in. This is Little Apple Smackdown number 17. If you're checking in, we're here in Winners Round 3. We have a great matchup set up for you guys tonight. Uh, two of the, easily one of the top 10 players in Manhattan. We have Cake versus Sphinx. You guys are ready. All right. Man, this is very exciting. So we have uh, Cake, also known as uh, we have Cake on the Dr. Mario versus Sphinx's Pokemon trainer. These two are very, very, are very, very exciting to watch, man. So we have here some quick combos from uh, Sphinx's Pokemon trainer. Oh my gosh, that's an easy 83%, and he's still going, looking for the edge guard. Does not get that down air. Ivysaur's down air is honestly an insane move. It is such a big hitbox for a spike. It's it's honestly ridiculous. It sends so many characters, just tells them they can't touch the ledge or else they're dead. So here we go. Cake looking for an opening, trying to get, work his way back in, but he gets red on the air dodge, and the F smash is going to send that stock flying away. Sphinx gets an early lead. Oh man, and that's... And Cake gets the first percent he's done all match on uh, Sphinx here and it's only a measly 11 oh he gets in that neutral layer let's see if he can work off of that honestly one thing I like about the three stock format in ultimate is that it allows for a lot of room for comebacks so even though uh, Cake seems to be at a major deficit here against Sphinx you know you never know you gotta stay in it you gotta continue to play like you're on your last stock because you could turn it around on the uh, on the spin of a dime, really. I don't think that's the saying, but you get what I mean. Oh my gosh, and the forward smash. What a weird hitbox that was. It wasn't uh, Ivysaur's actual body. It was like uh, the movement of him, so it sent straight up. That was quite odd. Oh, the down throw. He's looking for that up air, which would easily kill at this percentage. Man, Sphinx looking so much in control in this game. Man, the Razor Leafs are such pressure on Mario here. Yeah, he has the Super Cape, or the uh, Doctor Sheet here for Dr. Mario to send them back, but them being able to set up for kill confirms and honestly destroy, is it, their potential is too high. So now we have a reversal here, and the down B going to take that first stock. Jalen at 135, so that Charizard up throw is going to kill. It was quite quick, you know. The Charizard... His major use on Pokemon Trainer is just the kill potential. He has a kill throw. He, his forward air is a pretty strong move. He has his sweet spots on his forward tilt and his back air. I mean, a lot of people give Charizard a lot of flack because, you know, he's not the best neutral character of the Pokemon Trainer's uh, three lineup. But his kill power is, is, is yet to be rivaled by other Pokemon. So now we have Squirtle with great combo potential here. Uh, putting Cake up to 40% right here. Oh my gosh, and Cake reads the down B, so he catches it with his own, and the offstage down B is going to send Ivysaur towards the blast zone, and now we have a one stock versus one stock situation. Jalen only down by 41%. Let's see what happens here. Oh, the neutral air. It, oh, thought we were having something started, but uh, Squirtle just has such fast frames, and he can take any combo that you do and just yoink my combo. Oh, but that forward air is meaty and strong, and now we're actually tied up at percent. This is anybody's game. Oh, he goes deep for that forward air, but he was just way too deep. And he, it seems like he missed input. He wanted that down B so he could get a little bit of elevation and try to edge guard down there, but it was an all or nothing play, and unfortunately, Kate got nothing. Come on. 
trainer. Pokemon Trainer!
Fuck! <laughs> 